guys welcome back okay so this video is going to be my third video in my palette collection series hopefully this will be the last one you guys i'm trying to get everything squeezed into this last video so i'm gonna run through these rather quickly i was trying to get through all of my affordable ones in part two but that didn't happen <laughs> if you watched part two you already know that but yeah, if this is your first time um, on my channel watching any of my videos, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Um, but I do have two other previous palette collection videos prior to this one. So make sure you check those out. There's a lot of really nice palettes that are in those videos for you to see. And this is just a continuation. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. As you can see, I already have some here on my little vanity desk and I'm just going to move forward. So I'm going to try and finish up my affordable, move into my Juvia's ColourPop as well as like higher end, you know, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, stuff like that. So let's just jump right in, you guys. Okay, so these first palettes here are from a brand called Unique Beauty. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I found them on Instagram and these cute little five pan palettes were actually on sale, extremely reasonably priced. I don't even know if they still have them, but they're called the Status Quo Palettes. This one here is Girls Trip. And let me just give you a glance. All of their palettes that I purchased from them like this do have a glitter in the center, but they typically will have like two mattes and two shimmers as well. Oh my gosh. I did a video swatching all of these palettes that I have and they swatched and performed really nicely. So if you want to check that out, just search my name and e Unique Beauty Status Quo. And then you can see um, my video talking about in using these. So this is a blue one called BF. So I don't know if that's for boyfriend, best friend, but it's called BF. And this is what this one looks like. Oh, so, so pretty, you guys. This is another pretty like purple and pink one called Drama Queen. And that's what this one looks like. This one here is called Night Out. A couple of mine came kind of dinged up, so if they look <laughs> a little bit worse for wear, that's why. This one is really pretty. I think this is the one that I actually used in my video. This is another one of my favorites. This one is called Dark Souls. And this one I actually need to fix because this one is kind of like loose in the container here. But that's gorgeous. This one is Pop. P.O.P. Pop in gorgeous, pretty pink shades. Very, very pretty. Okay, so just a few random palettes I have. This palette I bought from Even New York. I bought this, you know, a few months ago in one of my hauls. I wanted to try them out. I fell in love with some of their eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, some of their eyelashes that I got from a beauty supply. So I looked them up online and found out that they have palettes as well. So this is what this palette looks like. Sorry about the glare. Let me see. Okay, that's a little bit better. But this is what this one looks like. It's really pretty. And I need to use this. So this one is called Secret of Pharaoh. This one here is from Catrice Cosmetics. It's called the Insta Bay. I grabbed this on sale at Ulta. It's kind of like, you know, just a really pretty kind of neutral type palette. Some Milani palettes I have. I picked up this Salt and Pepper. This one is hot, cool, and vicious. I really wanted to use these, try them out, but I'm really kind of just glad to have them in my collection. Of course, I grew up with Salt and Pepper, so this has kind of like, you know, a little special meaning to me. So, very, very pretty. This one is called Very Necessary. <laughs> and this is what this one looks like. I love this one. This one is oh so, so pretty. This is the Milani Gilded Jewel. That's what that one looks like. Very pretty as well. This one is the Milani Gilded Rouge. And that's what she looks like. Very, very pretty. I really like these palettes. I really enjoyed using them. I have the Gilded Noir. I believe I already showed that one with my more smoky and grungy palettes in part one. But this one here, 
more red toned, very, very pretty. I have a couple of palettes from Color Story. I picked these up from Target. I believe my daughter bought one for me. This one is called Mirage and they are pressed pigment palettes. Really, really pretty. The quality is just okay. It's not super amazing or anything, but it's a nice little drugstore palette. This one here is Tropical Glow. I believe this is the one that my daughter bought me and I haven't tried it out yet, but the color story is very, very pretty. This Girls United palette, it was a collab palette with Essence and Ulta. And it's a nice little story behind this palette with young ladies that actually created some a nice little cute little makeup line for people to purchase. And it would help them, I believe, to pay for them to go to school and things like that. So I did do a video on this palette as well. If you want some more information on that, I don't know if it's still available. The quality is okay. You know, it's <laughs> what I would expect from Essence and Ulta, to be honest with you. It's just a cute little palette, and I thought it was a nice thing to support, so I picked it up. This palette here, the Frida Kahlo and Ulta Beauty palette, I did grab this because I thought it was really, really pretty for one. Also, when I was in school, when I was in college taking some courses in my art class, we studied Frida Kahlo very extensively. And so when I saw this, I was like, man, I have to pick it up because she was just so instrumental and so artistic and such a just wonderful and interesting and captivating story behind her. So I did grab this for my collection because of that. And I really, really like it. I think it's gorgeous. I probably will never use it just because, you know, it's more of a collector's piece for me, but it's really pretty. This is a palette that I picked up from Amazon. <laughs> I saw a few people using this. It's called the iMagic uh, Professional. It's really hard to read here, as you can see. Professional Cosmetics 16 Color Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> but it's one of those ones that you can get from Amazon, AliExpress, or whatever. But everyone I saw using this, oh my gosh, the quality was amazing. So... Um, I actually bought this twice because I bought one, gave it away, and then I bought another one for myself. And yeah, it's a really, really nice palette. Next, I have here a couple of palettes from Essence that I picked up from Ulta. This one is the Chow Venezia, I believe. I really got these because I wanted to try um, the Essence quality and I really like the color story in these very affordable. Um, I believe I got these on sale as well, if my camera will focus. But yeah, I still haven't tried them. But I do like having these in my collection because, you know, when I want to do like a drugstore type look and things like that, trying drugstore products, I have these to use. This one here is Hey LA. Of course, I needed this one. Okay. I live out here in California, right next to LA, born and raised. So, and it's a really cute um, packaging situation. So this is what this one looks like. So, so pretty. It has like the pink and purple tone in there. Nice dark deepening shade. I really like it. Gorgeous. So can't really speak to the essence formula, but I like these palettes. Next here, I have a Wet n Wild and Bretman Rock collab palette. I love the packaging on this palette. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. And the palette <laughs> is nothing to sneeze at, actually. I love this color story. It's really vibrant, bright, kind of tropical, you know, has a gorgeous green and blue shimmers in here, the nice darkening black. And I just love it. I really like this palette. It's really cute. It's called the Jungle Rock, and I'm glad to have this in my collection. Now this palette here, the Supreme Chaos, this is from Prism Makeup, another palette that I purchased and I actually gave it away and I wanted one in my own, one of my own. <laughs> so purchased it again from Amazon. They have several different palettes like this. They have one that I actually used in a video that's kind of like neutral, 
um, smoky tones and I actually gave that to my daughter because I thought she could use that in her collection. So I kept the colorful one, of course. This one is really, really pretty and the quality is not bad, okay? Okay, so I have a few more miscellaneous palettes before I jump into my Revolution palettes. This is a palette that I purchased just over the holidays. Never heard of this brand. It's called Flaunt Beauty and it says it's infused with cannabis sativa. <laughs> this is the Indica palette. And I actually got this in like a combo type deal um, with like other palettes and mascara and stuff like that. And it was a cute little deal. So this came in it. Very, very pretty. I like these colors. This here is a brand that I just decided to try recently from, I found them on Instagram called Lollipop Cosmetics. I bought this palette along with two sets of eyelashes, which are really pretty, and I can't wait to try them. But this is the N Nico Mimi, <laughs> Nico Mimi palette. And this is what this palette looks like. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? So yeah, really, really gorgeous, like spring type palette. So, and even though this is a glitter, this Hello Kitty down here, look at that. It's kind of like a duo color type glitter. It looks really pretty. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that out. This is a palette that I picked up from Moira. I believe I already showed uh, one or two Moira palettes that I have in my collection. These just came in the mail the other day. I'm actually filming this part three <laughs> about a week after I filmed part two because there's been a lot going on here at my house. I don't know if you guys are familiar with my husband, but he has a channel as well. It's called Smoking and Grilling with AB. And we're actually opening a restaurant and everything right now. So it's kind of hectic and hard for me to do my makeup thing. So if you're kind of wondering why I'm not really posting and uploading, that's why. But I'm about to get back into the swing of things. So anyways, these came just the other day from Moira. They had an amazing sale, like 40% off or something, I think. And this is called Never Ending Lights. I love the packaging on here. So pretty. And this is the palette. It looks the same. And this is the palette. And if you know me, you know that I love like butterfly type things, things with wings. So I love this whole situation. It's really pretty. This one here is called Flirting Flamingos. Packaging is gorgeous. Look at that color story. Oh, <laughs> is she pretty? <laughs> very pretty and this last one here is called soul of fire <laughs> sounds like me when i'm angry <laughs> but look at that very very cute and this is the color story look at that butterfly oh my goodness i think this palette was made for me okay okay so now i think i can move into my revolution palettes this one, very, very cool packaging. Quite honestly, it's called Glass Mirror. Came out a little while ago, and I thought the packaging was really, really cool. Um, the color story is nice, too, actually. But when I swatched it, it didn't really... <laughs> Let's just say it left a lot to be desired when I swatched it. It's... Well, let me... Okay, I'll retract that. This blue left a lot to be desired. After I swatched that, of course, I went to that first. I was like, uh, uh oh. But then as I started swatching like the other shimmers in here, they actually swatched just fine and the mattes were just fine as well. But yeah, so I think with this palette, there's gonna be like a couple of winners, you know, and a couple of losers. <laughs> so we'll just see what happens when I actually use it. I think it's a really creative color story. Very pretty appealing to the eyes but yeah I feel like this is going to be like a hit and miss situation with these shadows next I have here this avocado the tasty avocado I wanted this palette so bad because you know I was like I need that green color story in my life and with the blues it's just really gorgeous so this is the tasty avocado this one here is <laughs> the hot dog palette I didn't purchase this. My daughter purchased this one for me. Really cute. Um, but yeah, it's not really my type of vibe. But honestly, looking at the shimmers, it kind of could be. 
it kind of could be because these shimmers down here over here they're really really pretty so i'm just gonna have to play with it and see what happens but it's a really pretty really pretty color story there are a few other of the food themed palettes from them that i want but they're sold out a lot so there's that i have a few more of the revolution color books in my first video i believe i show the blue and green one so these are the other three that i have and the quality on these is just okay you know it's revolution so what are you gonna do but this one is zero two so this is what this one looks like it's kind of like the brown just earthy cool and warm tone palette this one here is zero three which is like the red and orange tone palette Looks like there's one little pop of deep plummy purple in there. Very pretty. I like having these because it's just like if there's a shade that you need to blend with or something, you can kind of grab this and use it to help you out. This one here is 04, which is the pinky purple one. And that is what that one looks like. And for these palettes, I believe I mentioned in my first video, half of the palette is shimmer and the other half is all matte, just in case you didn't know that, which is really cool as well. Okay, let's run through some of these palettes that are in the tin packaging. This one here is Forever Flawless Ice. And I think all of these are Forever Flawless. So of course, you know why I love this. It's gorgeous. I love blue. It's beautiful. This one here is the Birds of Paradise. Look at that packaging. And this is what this one looks like. Very, very pretty color story. There's glitters in there as well, though, just in case you don't like glitter. This one here is Optimum. Very kind of rich, deep, smoky type look to it. Very, very pretty. This one here, I believe this was the first one that I ever bought, Constellation. And I used this palette in like a little battle up against the ABH, was it the Riviera? I think, uh, yeah. And it held its own, y'all. <laughs> I do have a video for that if you're curious. It was kind of like a face-off between the two palettes. This one is very, very pretty. This one here is newer to my collection. I kind of thought that this one was the Constellation, the one that I just looked at, but I knew the packaging was different. This one is Utopia, new to my collection. Really, really pretty. I will give it to Revolution. They do come up so, with some really pretty color stories <laughs> when they're not stealing from other people. <laughs> Yeah, because they do, you know, dupe a lot of stuff. Okay, this one is the Chilled Palette. Love the packaging. Well, the packaging does not match the inside to me, which is annoying, but the packaging is gorgeous. And I just used this one. I actually did a video, a little video on my Instagram, if you want to check that out. Very nice, easy to use. I like this palette. Now, these palettes from Revolution, I would say... The color stories are typically really nice, really cute, but the quality is not the best. So I would say I like these maybe the least out of all the palettes I have from Revolution. This is the Reloaded Euphoria. Like this one, I really like the color story. There we go. I really like the color story on this, but I'm kind of hesitant to use it, quite frankly, because whenever I use these palettes like this, it just it doesn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see though i don't know obviously i keep trying this one here is passion for color and that's what this one looks like really really pretty really really nice and it's like all well no there's a couple of mattes in there but it's majority shimmer it's just okay now these palettes when i use them are very very frustrating <laughs> It just it's like they swatch really nice on the hands but when I go to or on the fingers when I go to use them on my eyes they're kind of difficult so this one is the foiled frenzy fusion and as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous but yeah this one I haven't touched because the first one that I used it was very very frustrating but it's gorgeous
This one here is the Foiled Frenzy Hybrid. So this is the one that I did use. And, you know, of course, you can see why it's very, very pretty, but it's just not easy to use. You know, it kind of gets like that hard pan situation. So I would not advise purchasing these. I don't care how pretty they are. They're kind of difficult for me. Just my opinion. Okay, a few more miscellaneous this one is the Jack palette. I don't know. I guess I know I bought this in store and I just thought it was a really cute color story, but I don't know who Jack is. I don't know anything about this collab. Ooh, but it's a really, really cool, you know, a cool looking palette. Has some beautiful warm tones in there, some pops of blue, beautiful purple. So I really need to use this and check it out because in my experience, a lot of the collab palettes are better formula than just their regular ones. So yeah, I need to check this one out. Okay, so this one is my Revolution in Soap X Extra Spice palette. And this is what she looks like. I don't really use her that much. I've only used her a couple of times, as you can see. But this is a very pretty color story. The silver up here, she popping, okay? This one here, my Tammy Times Revolution. Um, I believe this was her first one. And super gorgeous. I've only used this a couple of times as well, as you can see. It's not really my type of color story, but it is very beautiful. Performs nicely, and I really like this palette. <laughs> really, really like it a lot. It's gorgeous. This one here is one of the wild palettes. This one is Fierce. I believe I showed my other two in my first video um, because they went along with some of the color stories that were in my first palette collection video. But this one is like a lonely one. I didn't really do like a red kind of orangey color story, but this is what this one looks like. Very pretty. This one here, absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure part of me bought this because of the, you know, packaging. This is the Precious Stone Emerald. I believe I bought this maybe last year during holiday time, you know, because it's very, very pretty, very reflective, gorgeous shimmers in here. Really pretty. This one here is my Carmi palette. <laughs> it's canceling out all the light with its beautiful packaging. And this is what this palette looks like. I love this palette. Oh my goodness. The shimmers in this palette, amazing. Has some really nice, you know, very useful, very useful matte shades, dark ones, warm ones. Just the shimmers are amazing though. I really like this palette a lot. This one here I bought just because I thought it was cute. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas. And I think they had two of these. This one is Jack. I didn't buy the other one. I'm not that familiar with the movie at all. I just like the color story in this one. <laughs> and that's why I grabbed it because I thought it was pretty. So, yeah. I think I've seen like mixed reviews on this. It's just kind of like okay. It's nothing amazing about it, but... Quite honestly, I don't really expect amazing from Revolution because they are more affordable. But the color story is really, really cute on this palette. Next, I have here my Revolution collab palette with Patricia Bright. She came out with two different versions. Of course, you guys know which one I got. <laughs> the rich in color. The colorful one. I do have a video using this palette as well if you're curious. She's a little dinged up, a little beat up. I do like this palette. It's very nice. I love the colors that she chose. It was kind of funny when she came out with this because she's not known to do colorful looks at all. So <laughs> I was a little confused at first, but yeah, I guess, you know, you can do what you want. Like for me, if I want to come out with a neutral palette, then that's what I'll do, you know? But yeah, it's really pretty. Now this palette here, oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. I love her. She's beautiful. <laughs> this is Tammy's, is this her third? Yeah, this is her third. I've already talked about the other two thus far, but this is her third collab with Revolution. And quite frankly, this one is my favorite. I love this palette. It's large. It has that tropical feel to it. Mine is a little bit ghetto, as you can see, because my mirror broke, but it's all good. 
but yeah it is so gorgeous i love the colors in here the blues greens purples even the warm tone neutral shades are really pretty she has a little glitter in here and shimmers i just love it i love this palette so this one is my favorite out of all the ones that she's done now it's funny for these last palettes i'm going to show you <laughs> the largest palette i have from revolution which is this X extravaganza palette that they came out with their pro line i believe this thing is huge let's see if i can get this open without knocking everything around but this is what the extravaganza palette looks like and she's gorgeous she is i've done a couple of swatches you know of some of the shimmers but haven't used it yet as much as I love these large rainbow palettes, they can be a little bit aggressive. <laughs> so, but I would love to do like a green eye look with that green row. Oh, that's pretty. Even the brown row is gorgeous, isn't it? That's pretty. So anyway, very pretty palette, but very, very big. So yeah, it takes up a lot of space. And these here are my smallest palettes from Revolution. And I love them because they are so gorgeous. I bought these mainly because of, because of the packaging. But when I use them, uh, they perform amazing. <laughs> so this one is Wild Onyx. And this series is called Ultimate Eye Look Palette from Revolution Pro. So this is what this one looks like. It has like that gray and silver theme to it wild onyx this is the newest to my collection which is kind of like the pinky rosy tone crystal eye quad is called pink topaz and this is what she looks like man i cannot wait to use this it is so pretty to me let me see okay there we go got it to focus oh she's gorgeous this one is really pretty as well this one is called ocean treasure there we go ocean treasure this one here is called Hidden Jewels. So it has the purple tones in it. So pretty. These are really, really having a difficult time focusing. So I hope you can see that. And this last one here is called So Jaded. So that is what So Jaded looks like. Gorgeous greens. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and run through my Profusion palettes. I have decluttered quite a bit of my Profusion palettes just because I know that there are certain ones that I just really want to have in my collection. So I had a lot more that have actually been given away. So let's go ahead and start with this one. This is the Emeralds. <laughs> this palette gets really, really good rave reviews. Um, and I'm not surprised because some Profusion palettes are really, really nice just excellent so this is the emeralds this one here is the neon <laughs> i actually really like this palette i've used it a couple of times it's not anything like super amazing or extraordinary but it performs and these palettes are like 4.99 or five bucks so you know you really can't beat it i think it's great for people that are on a budget or don't want to spend a lot of money on makeup profusion is a great brand to have in your collection so yeah i like it this one here my metallics now this metallics palette from profusion is really really nice you guys but it's kind of hard to use because these little square pans can be hard to put your finger in and with these they actually work best when you use your finger which i hate to do but they work best that way so it's kind of difficult to you know use your finger with these but it's a really nice metallics palette this one here is sultry this was my very very first profusion palette i don't think i'll ever get rid of it because i just love it it performs amazingly it's like an easy go-to palette when you don't really want to try and figure out what type of look to do has some gorgeous neutrals in here some deepening shades and also pops of color the blue green and purple I love this palette. This is my absolute favorite from Perfusion, and I will never get rid of it. This one here is the Confidence. Very pretty. I mean, I could see myself decluttering this quite honestly in the future. Very pretty color story, and it creates a beautiful look as well. But yeah, still have this one. This one here is the Sun Kissed. 
I love this color story. Just the combination of shades that they picked for this palette, I think is so pretty. So really, really nice. There's some glares in here. So, you know, you might not like that, but the color story is gorgeous. This is the Paradise palette. Another really pretty like purple and teal blue color story. Quite a few neutrals in here, but this section right here is really, really gorgeous. I like that. And this last Perfusion palette that I have in my collection is this monster here. It's called the Kaleidoscope. I wasn't going to get this, and then I just, for some reason, had to have it. And they were sold out on their website for so long, I was able to find this at Walmart. And then when I checked it out, you know, I used it. I think I did a video using this, actually. Colors are really, really nice, but it has, like, those, these weird goopy putty type shimmers in there and it's like I won't touch or swatch the other ones because it's like as soon as you touch it and the heat from your fingers it starts to get like soft and goopy so the shades are absolutely gorgeous but it's not the easiest palette to work with if you don't like those kind of like goopy type shimmers you just kind of have to play around with it and see what works best for you on your eyelids. But yeah, I would advise against just going in and swatching them because they can get a bit messy. Really pretty glitters down here. Absolutely gorgeous. If you're looking to add some glitters to your collection, that's an easy way to do it. Okay, so let's jump into my ColourPop collection. These are all my ColourPop palettes. And it's funny, while I feel like I have a lot of of ColourPop palettes, <laughs> like a lot, compared to what they come out with on a daily basis, or should I say bi-daily, because it seems like they drop palettes twice or three times a day. <laughs> I don't feel like I have a lot, but yeah, let's go ahead and run through these. So these two were from the Bretman Rock um, collab with ColourPop. I have the Lit which looks like this, kind of the fiery red with the pop of yellow. And then I have the wet. I like this pretty packaging. So this, of course, is the gorgeous blue with the neutral pops in there. I did use this one in conjunction with the other blue one. What is it called? Anyways, the other blue palette in a video, if you're curious. The blue moon. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. This one here is from their designer collection, Midnight Masquerade. And I went back and forth with whether or not I was going to buy this palette, but I couldn't shake it because of this bottom row. For some reason, I could not shake it. Of course, I don't care about the top row, but the bottom row was just so pretty to me. So here we have it. And this is what the packaging looks like with the beautiful Disney princesses in there. Next, I have the Chasing Rainbows palette. Very, very pretty. This color story is really gorgeous. Lovely quality. Very, very versatile palette. I actually did a three looks, one palette collab video using this with Annette's Makeup Corner. Long time ago when it first came out and we had a lot of fun doing that video. So yeah, very versatile palette. Really, really nice. This here is All I See Is Magic. <laughs> I bought this palette, you know, during the holiday season, it came out and it was gorgeous. I believe this one came out at Sephora, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it seems like this was at Sephora or maybe it was a different one. I don't know, but absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why I don't play around with these shimmers, to be honest with you, because they're so pretty. But yeah, I'm going to have to play around with this because it's really pretty. Next, I have the Garden Variety palette. I really like this palette. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get the light to hit it. But it has like shininess to it. There's texture with these uh, succulents. You can feel it and it's really, really pretty. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, it's really cool. You can see it a little bit there. The whole palette is textured. Um... It's not the most deep, rich, bold color story, but it is beautiful. It really is. It's really pretty. The shimmers are gorgeous, and you can create a beautiful 
spring type eye look, you know, for women of color. If you're more fair skin tone, you can get a deeper eye look with this, but I like it. I think it's really, really pretty. Now, this is the Mulan palette. And it's funny, I said I wasn't going to buy this palette, but I just couldn't shake it. The artistry, really pretty, and the colors I really like. Um, you know, the whole color story. But every time I look at this palette, it just says mini Tati Beauty Volume 1 to me. It just really reminds me of Tati's palette, just a miniature version of it. So wasn't going to get it, but broke down and got it anyway because I thought it was really cute, but it's pretty. This one here, Through My Eyes. This is the Ilo Sarai and ColourPop collab from quite a while ago. Love this palette. It's a little bit beat up, but absolutely gorgeous. Of course, I love these blue, green, teal type shades. Um, also, these shades up here, it's kind of like, has that like corally type feel. They're really, really pretty also. I like this palette. I also have the Perception, the Shayla and ColourPop collab. And this is what she looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Very pretty, rich, jewel tone type shades. Let's run through some of these smaller palettes right quick. This is the Star Wars, of course, super cute. Um, this is the Way, <laughs> the Mandalorian. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So, so cute. This is the Little Ray of Sunshine. So basically like a goldy, mustardy, warm, earthy tone palette. This one here, Big Poppy. <laughs> I really like this. This is pretty. It has those beautiful rustic orange type shades. Another Disney and ColourPop collab. This is Frozen 2. And it's Anna. Very pretty. This one here is Elsa. I like this one the best. <laughs> so, so pretty. It's something just about those blues and bricky browns, you know, and this gorgeous silver shimmer. Hello. I think they did well with those color stories. This one is That's Taupe. Yeah, the shimmers is the reason I bought this for sure. The shimmers. One of their newer palettes, Aura and Out. I think I bought this little collection. I think it was like a threesome. Very pretty pastel type shadows. For me, the reason why I like to purchase a lot of ColourPop palettes for one is because they're magnetic, so they pop right out. And I can use them with all of my singles, kind of mix and match and make my own palettes. So I really like that about the ColourPop shadows. So that's why I like to purchase a lot of their little nine pan palettes because they're really small i like their formula and i can mix them around and make my own palettes any way i want <laughs> so this is uh on cloud blue and that is what on cloud blue looks like yes very pretty this is miss bliss really pretty kind of like light peachy tones this is meant to be I really like this one. I think the minty type shades are very, very pretty. Meant to be. This is Main Squeeze. It's funny. I wasn't going to buy this palette, but after I saw my girl Lynette from London Making Makeup Artistry use this palette, I was like, um, I need that in my life. <laughs> so yeah, Lynette did a really pretty look with this. So I picked that up. This one here is the Orange You Glad which has the really pretty orangey color story. This one here is the Aha uh -huh Honey. <laughs> I did a video using this palette and it was a disaster. Well, not a disaster, but it was just a lot. I went in, you know, with this glitter trying to do something and it just, it was a lot. So I don't know how I feel about this palette, quite honestly. I need to use this again because I have mixed feelings about it. This is the Just My Luck. Amazing green shades in here. This Mary Jane, so pretty. I've used this several times. Just that shade alone with other palettes because <laughs> I like it so much. But yeah, really, really pretty. 
the blue moon this was the one i was trying to remember earlier where i did use this Ooh, come on now clean her up but i did use this in conjunction with the bretman rock wet palette in a video because i didn't want to do two separate blue, blue looks so let me put this in here but yeah, I had combined these two palettes to create a blue look. And it was really, really fun. Really pretty. But yeah, this is the Blue Moon. And this is the Mar. Definitely reminds me of a beach. <laughs> a beachy setting. This one here is Going Coconuts. Going Coconuts. Oh, she's pretty. I didn't need this because I have the other two neutral palettes, as you guys will see coming up shortly. But I don't know. I just wanted it. <laughs> so pretty. This is the Strawberry Shortcake. Very, very pretty. Pinky tone. A little bit of red in there. I think with ColourPop, they're, I mean, their mattes are nice, easy to use. But the shimmers, the shimmers get me every time because they just look so pretty. The ooh la la. I broke down and bought this during the sale as well. Another palette I said I wasn't going to grab because I have plenty of pink shadows and I really don't wear pink eyeshadow that much. But you know, it's like ColourPop is just having sale after sale after sale. And so here it is in my collection. Okay. Next, I have In a Trance. This one goes with those other um, pastel type pal palettes, actually. So that's what she looks like. Pinky purple, pop of blue. I like this. I think it's cute. Lilac you a lot. Very pretty if you want the purple tone palette, but just not as deep, not as dark. Let's go ahead and compare. So this is the It's My Pleasure. One of my absolute favorite purple palettes. And this one is the Lilac you a lot. So you can see, you know, the difference in depth for these two palettes. Really, really gorgeous companion palettes. But yeah, you can kind of see the difference in depth. Next, I have the Shayla and ColourPop collab, Proceed with Caution. I was pretty surprised by this palette as well. It creates an absolutely gorgeous, just kind of like smoky date night look. Really pretty. I liked it. Blowing Smoke. I feel like this is kind of like a staple, you know, in... Your collection, if you just kind of want something that has like blacks and grays and beautiful silver shimmers, this is a perfect um, palette to just kind of round out your collection if you're looking for something like this. And then my last little nine pan palette, I believe, is newest to my collection, Wine Only. And this is what she looks like. Very, very pretty. Once again, the shimmers got me for this one. Because I'm not even that big of a red eyeshadow type person. But these shimmers, honey. Yeah, I'm going to play with this one soon. Okay, let's run through the 12 pan palettes. This is a newer one called Menage a Moi. And this is what she looks like. This is the Boudoir Noir. And this is what this one looks like. Kind of has a bit of a green tone to it. This is the Flutter By. Mauve tone. I think I have a video using this if you're curious what it looks like on my skin tone. Had to rearrange these a bit because they're all over the place. Okay, this is the Whatever palette. Really pretty. One of my favorites. I really like this color story. The shimmer here. Gorgeous. This here, the California Love, another palette that I bought because I'm a California girl. Color Story is really pretty though. I actually wanted this one instead of that, what is it, the Yes Please palette that everyone has, like their first palette they came out with. I was more drawn to this, so got this one. This is the Element of Surprise. That's what she looks like. I think if I was to declutter any of my palettes this one would actually be on the list i don't know it's just always been a very confusing palette to me i just don't feel like it's very cohesive so yeah this one my absolute least favorite <laughs> the fem rosa or she palette it is the carucci and ColourPop collab 
I just do not like this palette for some reason. Don't like it at all. This is the Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So, so gorgeous. Yeah, I think if you want something a little bit deeper, instead of getting the Flutter Bye, you know, the butterfly one, grab this one because, of course, there's some more rich, deeper shades in here. It's very, very pretty. This one might. I think I did a video on this one as well, too. This is the Good Sports. <laughs> And I love this palette because of the greens. The color story is really nice. But for me, it's the greens, the shimmers. Um, the purple is really pretty in there in this deep, dark, kind of bricky brown. But yeah, it's the greens for me, sis. This here is the Sweet Talk. This palette is so pretty. It's not really the most brown girl or black girl friendly palette in my opinion. I mean, if it was just a shade, one shade darker, but you can create a really pretty peachy eye look. If you like, you know, lighter eyeshadow looks as anyway, then this will work for you. It's really, really pretty. This is the Dream Street. I love this palette. I don't know. I just, the green, both the matte and the shimmer. I love this, whatever color that is. It's pretty. The gold shimmers, this kind of ugh, I know I'm not swatching but look at that hello uh hello are you blinded yet look at that I can't let me back up because y'all can't even okay listen listen look at that okay gorgeous <laughs> I love this palette I just had to swatch one just in case you guys are not understanding why I love my ColourPop palettes this one is good as gold Oh, look at this. Look. I know. I'm not going to start swatching. I never should have swatched anything. Look at that, though. Look. Listen. Listen. What? Quit playing. Don't play with me. Good as gold, okay? ColourPop is, is not to be played with. Look at that. This one here is actually one that they came out. Was it like last summer or last spring? I don't know. They came out with this. It was really, really pretty to me. It has like some neon shades in here. Or not neon. What is these? Pastels? I don't know. Are these neon? Listen, whatever they are, they're pretty. And all these glitters, of course, I didn't need. But they're really, really pretty glitters. Actually, if you like glitter, those are gorgeous. But yeah, this was... Um, like a palette that they created out of their singles and I don't remember the name of it, sorry. But it's really cute. Okay, so the larger palettes. Let's roll through these right quick. This is the It's All Good. Ooh, yeah, it's all good, honey. <laughs> she is pretty, look at her. Oh my gosh, I'm not swatching anything else. She is gorgeous though. This is the Bare Necessities. These are the palettes I was talking about when I said I didn't need to, you know, buy like the Going Coconuts or whatever it is. Because when you have these, you don't need any other neutrals in your collection at all. <laughs> but she's pretty, you know, very, very pretty. This is the Stone Cold Fox. Yes. Let's look at her. She is a fox. And lastly, I have the So Jaded, the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop palette that just gets my mind racing every time I look at it. Because <laughs> it's such a gorgeous color story. I mean, the colors in here are beautiful, but I feel like somebody just picked up a bunch of shadows and just threw them on the table. And wherever they landed, that's where they decided to put them in the palette. And I don't like it. <laughs> I don't. And I'm so tempted to rearrange my palette. My girl DJ rearranged hers. And so, I don't know. But I don't want my names to be all crazy, though. So, But she's pretty, though. Oh, look at that green. Should I swatch that green? I need to stop swatching. What is happening with me today? Look at that. Let me get a little bit more. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's gorgeous. 
Okay, you guys, so I have a new group of palettes. Let's go ahead and run through my Juvia's Place. Of course, Juvia's Place is one of my favorite brands, Black-owned brands. I actually collect her palettes, so if there's any palettes that she has out that I'm missing, let me know in the comments because I need to get it. <laughs> but let's just go ahead and get started. This is the Zulu. Pretty, pretty artwork. And this is what the Zulu looks like. And I know these palettes are in almost every makeup beauty collector YouTubers collection. So we'll just run through these quick. This is the Warrior 2. I love this palette for one because the color story is gorgeous, but I love all matte palettes. <laughs> I do. I love me some mattes. Now, y'all know I love me some shimmers, okay? Especially my indie brand shimmers, but I do love me some mattes. This is the Warrior. And this is what she looks like. Very shimmer heavy in this one. This is the Deuce. <laughs> This is a palette that I talked about in um, one of my previous videos where I'm just like, I don't know what to do with this. It's just confusing. But I actually used it and fell in love with it. So, yeah, this is a newly loved Juvia's Place palette in my collection. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is the Tribe. Definitely one of my favorites. This palette just, it just makes me all warm and tingly. I love the greens in here, the orangey tones. Even the brown in here has a hint of green. It's crazy how she created these shades. It's just the perfect green and orangey toned palette. Beautiful artwork as well. This one here is the Festival. This one is not... um one that I'm super crazy about. I mean, it has some pretty shades in here. You know, if I pick them out, onesie, twosies, separate them out. But as a cohesive unit, it's not my favorite. This is the Saharan 2 by Juvia's. I love this palette. <laughs> I do this color story. Gorgeous. The shimmers. I love it. This is one of my favorites. The Warrior 3 bright beautiful colorful palette i mean it's cute i like it it's not my absolute favorite but it's pretty i like the shimmers in here for sure this deep dark plummy purple oh my gosh it's gorgeous that green so i like these colors you know individually but as a unit it's kind of all over the place the masquerade mini i don't think i never had the large one i believe they had a large one like this but I only have the mini and it's very, very pretty. I like the fact that it's like half colorful and half neutral. Very, very nice to have in your collection if you're trying to like have multiple uses for one palette. I think this is pretty. This is the Nubian 2. Another one of my favorites, of course, because of the beautiful, colorful shimmers. This was actually the first Juvia's Place palette that I bought. Because when I found out about Juvia's Place, um, I believe she already had a couple of palettes out. But this was the first one I purchased and it's really, really nice. I want to swatch that green. I'm just curious because I've had this for a few years now <laughs> and haven't used it in a while. So I'm just curious on, yep, she's still popping. Okay. All right. Next I have here the Wahala 2. You know what? Let's look at the Wahala 1 first. So this is the Wahala Translation Drama. That's what that means. And this is what the Wahala looks like. Oh, she pretty. This one, the background is a bit distracting as well. I kind of wish the whole background was just black or just blue. Because it is a little bit distracting, you know, with the glitters and all that. It's a lot going on. But this palette is really pretty, if you can ignore all of that. There's some gorgeous shimmers in here. Um, I wish the mattes were, I don't know. I just wish, I don't know what I wish, but this palette is very busy. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> this is the Wahala 2. I don't know. I like both of them, quite honestly. This one has quite a different look and feel to it. When I think about this palette, I only think about blue. I feel like they put way too much blue in here. Way too much. This palette could have been 
a lot more, I don't know, diverse, <laughs> I'll say. There's a lot of blue, but it's gorgeous. It's really pretty nonetheless. Beautiful duochrome in here. But yeah, it could have been a little bit more diverse in my opinion. A lot of blue. And then this is the only like really big one I have, the Magic. <laughs> Another one of my favorites because it's um to me a very unique grouping of colors that they put together in here. But this palette, in my opinion, is very diverse. You have the beautiful gold. You have this pretty, like, shifting purpley, lavendery shade here. Of course, you know I love these greens. These deep, dark mattes. Oh, it's just like, it's so wonderful to sit down and just play with this. You have these lighter shades, earthy red tones as well. I like the diversity in this palette. I really do. It might look like it's all over the place, but if you kind of split it into two, then you really could kind of see like two different types of palettes in here. And I like that. Okay, so these are a few of the 12 pan palettes. This is the Afrique. And I haven't used this since I got it. I used it one time. And it's like I was really excited when they came out with it because it was like, oh, okay, a really pretty colorful palette. But then when you kind of look at it and actually use it, you realize it's kind of not that colorful. It's like, I don't know. It is, but it's not, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. It's, this, it's just not my favorite. It's still a pretty palette, but not my favorite. This is the Nubian 3 Coral. This can also be a tricky palette if you're not really one who's keen on using corals and grays together. You can use them separately in this palette. It's like you just kind of have to separate them, you know, in your mind and just see it as two separate palettes because it's a really beautiful coral theme to this palette. But you also have some really gorgeous grays and silvers in here along with this. It's kind of like a in between shade like a taupey gray toned <laughs> transition or something like highlight so it is a bit weird a little bit different but if you kind of like turn it into two palettes in your brain then you know you might be able to kind of get with it i think it's pretty though it's very unique to me this one here the saharan by juvia's Another one of my favorites. I really like this color story as well. Very, very pretty. I like the combination that she put together. I always love a black and these shimmers up here. Beautiful. Okay, let's run through some of these smaller, newer palettes. This one is the Disco Party from Fumi and Juvia's. I love Fumi. I love her to death. <laughs> she is just the funniest, most bubbly, sweet. I just, I love her, so... This is her latest collab palette with Juvia's, and it's gorgeous. This one is the Melissa palette. I'm not sure who Melissa is, but she's beautiful. <laughs> and this is her palette. I've seen so many gorgeous looks done with this palette. I'm like actually really anxious to jump in because these are pretty. The shimmer is gorgeous. You know, it's pretty. This palette I actually got, I wasn't in my boxy charm or something like that. It was, um, a takeover box with Nikki tutorials and they put this little baby Nubian palette in here so since I got this I never actually bought the actual full-size Nubian palette from Juvia's and I never felt like I needed it because I'm not really into neutrals all that much so once I got this cute little baby one in my was it my boxy charm I don't know but I never felt the need to buy the actual full size because this is enough neutrality for me. <laughs> okay, really cute. This is the Topes. I really like this palette. It might look a little boring, but I like it. It's very interesting to me. This is the Nudes. That's what she looks like. The shimmers in here are absolutely beautiful. I did a video combining this palette with the chocolates because, of course, with my skin tone, I need to combine this with a deeper palette, but it turned out really, really gorgeous. So, like this. This is the berries. Oh, 
need I say more? Super Berry Licious. And for any of these palettes, if you just do a search, Colorful Camille, and then the name of the palette, if I did a video, you know, it'll come up, of course. This one is the Violets. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, cool tone purple palette. Oh, she pretty. This is the Sweet Pinks. I actually had this in my last shot, my stash to use. And for whatever reason, I was just never in a pinky type mood. But this palette is gorgeous and I still really, really want to use it. So I'll probably play around with this on Instagram or something. This is the Mauves or Mauves. <laughs> Mauves, Mauves, whatever it is. Oh, she pretty. She is pretty. Even if you don't like glitter, I feel like the glitters that they choose to put in their palettes are kind of unique, really pretty. You know, they usually have multiple colors in them, so very pretty. This is La Mariposa, Yami Angelina and Juvia's Place collab palette. She's so pretty. The look I did with this palette, oh my gosh, I loved it. I loved it. It just made me feel like spring was all over my face, okay? So yeah, La Mariposa. This is what this palette looks like. Very unique set of colors in here. Glitter. But those shimmers, the yellow, all these shades are popping too. So you want to see a look that I did with this. I have it on Instagram and I did a video as well, so... And then these two palettes here that they came out the very beginning of the holiday season, I think, the Nubian Glow and the Nubian Royal. I did a video using both of these together, kind of like a purpley gold sunset look. So that is the Royal and this is the Nubian Glow. It's so funny. When you open this palette, it's like it literally makes the room glow. <laughs> it's so bright and pretty. It's gorgeous. Okay, you guys, so I honestly thought that I was going to be able to get everything in part three. <laughs> I know my regulars are laughing at me right now, as well as my friends here on YouTube are laughing like, girl, you knew you was going to have to do a part four. I really was trying to get it all in part three, but it's, it's too much. I need to take a lunch break. So, and I'm looking at the timestamp and I'm already at an hour and 27 minutes. So by the time I edit this, it's probably going to be over an hour. So before I start off into some of these like miscellaneous brands and my high end, I'm just going to cut it here. So this is the end of part three. <laughs> I'm going to take a lunch break and I'm going to come back and start part four with these brands and finish with my high end. And that's it. I mean, that is really it. I think part three is so long because of all the color pop and Juvia's Place and the fact that I can't stop running my mouth. So we're going to break here and reconvene for part four. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in part four. Toodles!